save the date, January 29th, the village of Kohler uh, transforms into a beautiful winter wonderland for its winter fest celebration. And part of that is you can enjoy some cooking demonstrations. And that's why we have Chef Alric from the American Club in Kohler with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. Great to be on the show again. Yes. So tell us what you're going to make. We're going to make something that's really healthy. Uh, you, you said that you mentioned that uh, you know we have the demonstration kitchens happening over that weekend. But it's not just that weekend. It's every weekend that we have that going. And uh, you know we see a little bit of smoke coming up from the panny. That's a good sign. That means we're ready to go. So let's let's start the cooking process. Okay. So I've got some red onions that we're going to put in here. But back to the demonstration kitchen series. You know we do these um, throughout the whole first quarter of the year. They start in January and they run all the way through the end of April. And uh, it's just a fun way for the public to come and see us. You know in in a more relaxed, informal environment. We'll cook three or four dishes. We'll often talk about wine as well. Some food pairings. And, um, you know, the chefs from the American Club Resort will share their recipes with you, mm -hmm. which is just a lot of fun. Yeah, But we also know that Valentine's Day is coming up pretty soon. And the demonstration that's going to be happening over the course of the, that prior to that Valentine's Day weekend is, um, is romantic cooking with Chef Paul Shimon from mm. Cucina. So in, in honor of him here, we're going to do a little bit of a healthy Italian-style um, uh, dinner. Okay. And the idea with, you know, for Valentine's Day when you're cooking for your loved one, you don't want to make something that is too rich or too heavy because you don't want your loved one passing out on the couch in a food coma. You want them awake for this holiday you know, and spending <laughs> a little bit of time on you and making sure that, that you're being looked after. Absolutely. So this is a very simple dish. We've got a pan here on the, on the stovetop, uh, a little bit of olive oil in there. We put some red onions in there. And you want, just want to sweat those. You want the, uh, the sugars in there to start caramelizing, um, and you want them to get a little bit softer so you don't want the onions too hard and too crunchy. Okay. So this will take about three or four minutes that you're going to gently sweat these onions and, you know, obviously for today, sure. just to speed things up, we're going yep. to go a little bit faster. So do as yep. I say, not as I do here on this one. <laughs> we're going to put some uh, pine nuts in there. And the pine nuts are just going to uh, caramelize and toast in the pan here. And we're going to get some great flavor going here. Uh, we're going to put some uh, raisins in there. The raisins are going to become nice and moist and plump as they sit in the pan here and rehydrate. So this whole process is going to take about three or four minutes. We're going to take some lemon juice. Mm. Add that in there. What this is going to do is give you lots and lots of fruity, zesty flavor. And then we have the zest here of one lemon as well. Just take a microplaner and get a little bit of that sure. lemon zest in there. Let all those flavors kind of come together by cooking out for about three or four minutes. And at that point, then, you're going to add a little bit, bit of butter. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're just going to add a couple of tablespoons of butter in there. You're going to let that all cook away. We're going to increase the temperature on our pan here. At this point now, take your pasta, and this is pasta that you've cooked up ahead of time. Put that into the bowl, let that reheat, a little bit of spinach, mix that all together, and finish off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Wow. And that's as simple as it is. A lot of flavor looks like it's going on in that dish, and it smells amazing. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to see, this was the, um, the duck dish that he made earlier. And we have both recipes on our website, box11online.com. Just click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.